are we on? Yeah. Are we live? Yeah. We're definitely alive, aren't we? We're oh, not yeah. dead. Yeah, yeah. Or are we dead? Yeah. Do you know this bullshit that you've been, we've been brainwashed by, by our mind controllers, hey. and that you've been talking about, yeah. and you don't refer to it as coronavirus, Some virus. Bullshit 18. No, it's 19. Point one. It's COVID-19. COVID you can't use them words because then the bots pick up and then it screws your, screws your videos well, up. Well, bleep them out then. But yeah, this bullshit has got a number. Well, it's one and then it's an eight plus one, which yeah. equals... Well, you know what eight and one equals. So it's a one and a... Well... Nine. That number, okay. German, no. Well, the first letter in the English language... A. Alphabet is A. And the ninth letter is... I. I. That's COVID AI. What's AI? Artificial intelligence. Now, what does that tell you? What are they pushing at the moment? Jesus Christ Almighty. Scream insanity. And we thought we'd had nothing left to say. I've got one for you. We'll leave it rolling. <clears throat> NHS boss, UK salary. Oh, these are the salaries of some of the NHS bosses, Jesus Christ. <laughs> It's that, there are that many. Okay, here you go. Guys and St. Thomas NHS Trust London, Jonathan Michael, or Michael Jonathan. <clears throat> He's on £178,000 a year. That on par with the okay. Prime Minister then, isn't it? Barts and London NHS Trust, Paul White, £164,000 a year. University College London, Robert Naylor. These are not doctors, these are just well, they're under lockdown, so they're not even pressing the keys on their pads. And how much are nurses paid and, not, and cleaners of hospitals? Less than 23,000 a year. And these guys are on... Well, yeah, University College, London. Robert Naylor, not a doctor, remember, 156,000. Universal Hospital, Birmingham, NHS Trust, Mark Brittle, £148,500. Central Manchester, Manchester Children's University Hospital. Mike Deegan, 137,500. Jesus, it, these are getting paid this. Let's see what, um, let's see if we can find Nottingham on here. Now this is a huge, huge list. No, I can't find it, but they're all nearly on a hundred and fifty thousand pound a year shock figures reveal 15 nhs chief executives were paid quarter of a million pound a year this is from the scum or more in 2018 nhs trusts still clapping still clapping are we well done for having two hundred and fifty thousand pound a year wages well done oh, that's just shocker well the nurses and the the people that clean the hospitals and the the so-called frontline people uh, these are getting quarter of a million pound a year and you're on a pittance this is shocking nhs trusts have defended the salaries they pay their chief executives despite some earning £100,000 more than the Prime Minister. 15 NHS Trust level, uh, sorry, chief executives were paid annual sal salaries of more than £250,000 last year, figures show. Their pay is more than £150,000 earned by Boris Johnson, despite some only r running a district general hospital. They're only clerks in an office. But what happens is they get to choose what their wages are. I mean, if you could choose your wages, you'd give yourself £250,000 a year, wouldn't you? So they're not doing anything wrong, really. Oh, wait a minute, though. That's quarter of a million that could be going towards the NHS rather than a bunch of assholes who've just decided to give themselves massive pay jobs. Just give those chief executives a clap, won't you? Yeah, oh, yeah, that's just what, give that's them a what clap. you're doing. Yeah. Eight well this done. Thursday. Give them the clap. Well done. 250 yeah. grand a year. Well done. Critics last night described the eye-watering sums as shocking and called for more effective scrutiny. 
Some with a turnover of less than 300 million pocketed more than others running NHS trusts raking in over a a one billion. The best paid, oh we've got a picture of him. Oh you have to show him. The best paid was on £315,000 a year. Are you kidding me? That's twice what the Prime Minister gets, although he doesn't deserve it. And one chief exec was paid £1 for every £1,000 their trust earned. <laughs> the figures this year, 2018, were revealed by the Health Service Journal. John O'Connell from the Taxpayers' Alliance. There's actually a Taxpayers' Alliance. Do you realise that this theft, John O'Connell, has called the figures shocking? Absolutely amazing. And um, NHS Trunts defined their salaries saying they were a fair market rate and needed to retain the best healthcare leaders. And because they've got nothing to do with the hospitals at the moment, they've already started singing Christmas songs. Because the board. Amazing. That's it for now. Hope you enjoy our videos. If you don't, don't watch them. <laughs> if you do, we love you. Even if you don't, we still love you. You've got no say in it whatsoever. Ciao. See ya.